You talked a little bit last night right afterwards about the fourth quarter lead and, and how it got away. Now that you've had time to digest it, watch it, what what happened? Um, you know, I think Kyle got going. I think Kyle got going, made some open shots. A couple times we didn't switch. Uh, we didn't talk our switches. And then a few times just switching Kevin on to him, we wanted, to, we wanted that switch, and he took advantage of that matchup. So um, we'll be able to clean it up next game. In the playoffs have blown – several substantial leads on the one hand you got that you built those leads um how much of it is your struggles defensively that go back to the regular season how much of it is you're just you're playing good teams i don't know something that concerns you though as you go forward and you don't need to win i mean you know you're not gonna you know hold every lead they're a good team number one in the east so they're gonna score the basketball and he has some tricky lines on the floor at times. So, um, no, I mean, it's good to build a lead instead of being behind all the time. So I'll take that. The challenge as a, as a coach sticking with a lineup that is having success that might not necessarily include your best players. Like last year in Indiana, you didn't play Kevin and Kyrie down the stretch. You got the win, so it looked like the right decision. Last night, uh, DeMar DeRozan doesn't play the last 14 minutes. The Raptors lose, and De- uh, excuse me, Dwayne Casey gets put in a tough position. Um, What's that challenge like for a head coach? I mean, it's a tough challenge. I mean, you know, when, you, when your team's playing well, they finally catch a rhythm, you know, and you've been down, you know, you're down 14 to start the fourth quarter. They come back and, um, you know, they're playing well. But, I mean, it's a tough situation, you know. Um, I'm pretty much worried about our team right now. I'm not really worried about their situation. But it's a tough situation to be in because your team's playing good in a good rhythm. And you don't want to bring a guy in with, you know, three minutes left, and he's been out for like 15 straight minutes. That's a tough thing to do, too. So um, it's a fine line. John, what's the since, since you, since George Hill returned from injury, how has he played for you? And as part of the fact that you guys have not turned the ball over very much in those three or four games, partially attributed to what he's doing? Yeah, I think we get the extra ball handling on the floor. I think um, for him to be able to release some of the pressure from Braun for, some, you know, bringing the ball to the court. And also, I think just defensively, you know, he's, he's um, a guy who can guard a few positions, you know, defensively. And um, just that extra ball handling when they're trying to pressure us is really the most important thing. And him being able to attack downhill, getting into the paint, finishing at the basket is huge for us. Do you have a 24-hour rule with games last, like last night's 24 minutes, 24 seconds, you know, for dealing with the way that game turned out last night? I mean, do you enjoy it for a day? Oh, yeah. I mean, we enjoy it. I mean, it's a big win for us. Some things we could have did better down the stretch. But um, we definitely enjoy it. You know, being up 3-0 um, is a great position to be in. And we know they're going to come out just like they did last night in that fourth quarter, you know, trying to play to start the game that way. So we got to be prepared for that. Early in his career, LeBron wasn't considered to be a good closer or the guy you wanted to take the last second shot. Is that it's hard to comprehend at this point? Yes, it is. <laughs> you, you, I mean, you go off that, I mean, you obviously played with another great one. What similarities, or if any, do you see in those two players at that end of the game in those situations? What, Kobe or Jordan? Kobe. Oh, um, you know, I just, they want the ball. And, you know, they're always able to will their team to a win, to a victory, whether it's making the right pass to play or making the big shot. So um, just their will to win and making everybody better is just the same, you know, the similarities I see in those guys. Is it possible, though, for a guy to evolve in that kind of situation throughout his career to get oh, better yeah, for and sure. better as... Oh, yeah, for sure. I love the defense you got last night from, J- from JR. You look in the box score, doesn't look impressive, but when you look at what he did on the defensive side of the the floor, just if you could just touch on JR, you know, and Jeff both did a good job on DeMar, just giving him different looks. Um, you know, Jr. He he missed shooter. Well, he came in the shooter round. He was sick yesterday, so he was supposed to play. But he came out there and gave us his best effort, which was which was big for us. And um, they are just doing a good job of just you know trying to make him make field goals and not free throws like we talked about. We're doing a good job of keeping him off the free throw line. So, got to continue to do the same thing, you know, going forward. Jr. was sick yesterday. He said um, after the game, Dwayne said that he thought um, they got what they wanted out of their lineup switch. They thought that. Playing Fred um, mitigated Jr. some and also took some of the um, bite out of Tristan by staggering Ibaka. Did, do you think that was effective, or how did you feel that that? Yeah, that was effective. I think because what it did, it, it kind of mixed our first and second unit. You know, because we had been doing a good job with um, LeBron playing with with our second unit, and we kind of just, um, you know 
kind of you know played them played, played them evenly as far as that second unit goes. So I think starting some of the second unit guys and then mixing up the rotations kind of was funky for us. So um, um, but we'll be prepared for it next time. Those four do you like the most when they're? I mean, you switch between LeBron and Kevin playing with you know Jeff, Tristan, Jordan, and Rodney. What do you like about that dynamic the most? Well, <laughs> they were small, so I try to go big. You know, I try to go big and. Um, hopefully he would try to match us and go big with Valanciunas, and then I was going to go small with uh, Kyle back for Tristan, but he didn't fall for it. So, um, but that was the, that was the thought behind it. Yeah, Tristan's really stepped up here since you uh, put him back in the rotation late in that Indiana series. What's been different uh, uh, about him as opposed to the regular season? Is it as simple as just saying health? I think yeah, health. I think his knee is great. Um, he was you know having some soreness with his knee. But I think, you know, his knee's feeling great. I think, you know, he did a good job of working on his body, working on his condition while he's not been, not, not been playing. And he's came back. He's been huge for us. So that's the Tristan we need. And um, he's been playing a big part for us. You were asked about Toronto doubling LeBron last night. You seemed a little amused in, as you answered. I'm wondering, was, was that sort of a reverse psychology thing, the way you answered? Or were you just surprised that you were consulting on another team's strategy? No, I don't know. I don't know. You, you were sincere. They're doing the right thing by not doubling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how do you feel like the the cohe? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No. How do you feel like the cohesion of the the players uh, on this team has kind of progressed through the playoffs? And do you feel like a, a seven game series, like the first round, can can help something like that? The Indiana series definitely helped us. You know. Um, for this series, you know, you see the last couple of games we're trying to get physical and trying to pressure the ball. So um, that Indiana series really, you know, helped us out going forward, you know. So um, we saw it in the first series, so now we should be pretty much immune to it. But we got to get better owning our space and, you know, just, just being strong with the basketball. They try to lean on us, they're grabbing us, they're holding us. Um, it's not being called, but we just got to be strong. A lot. This whole playoffs about how you're better defensively and why. Uh, but LeBron was talking last night about um, OG's three, and he said it was a uh, Jeff and, and uh, Kyle didn't get matched. They, they didn't talk. And that sounded like a problem that you guys had had throughout the regular season. So the question is, can you clean up those little things? No. I mean, it just happened one time. I mean, we still won the game. I mean, what happened in the, in the regular season, that's over. We're in the playoffs now. We've been doing a good job defensively. We're going to continue to keep doing that. So I'm not going to keep talking about the regular season. Sticking with your guys, but has there been any kind of talk about potentially bringing Jose or Jetty into the playoff rotation? There's been, been some talks. <laughs> yeah, there's been some talks, and um, you know, you don't want to take guys' confidence, you know, throughout the playoffs, but because you're gonna need, you're gonna need everyone. So um, we'll just see how it goes, and um, we'll go from there. What's the message been to Rodney and Jordan as they continue? You know, I think Jordan's doing a good job of just playing hard defensively, trying to pick up full court, um, doing a good job fighting the bigs and boxing out. You know, he's made some shots here and there, but I think he's playing with a lot of energy. I think Rodney just, you know, being more aggressive, being more assertive offensively, and just being stronger physically on the, like when he's guarding bigger guys or, you know, we switching on the bigger guys, just being better physically on the bigs. Ty, when it comes to closeout games, what makes them more challenging? And is the pressure on you guys or the Rodney? Um, I don't know who the pressure's on, but it's a tough game because, you know, it's either win or go home for the for the team that's down 3-0. And, um, you know, they're going to come out swinging like they did last night. And, um, you know, when you got a team with a lot of pride that's well coached, um, they're not just going to give in. You know, they're going to do everything they can to try to, to win a game and try to get it back to Toronto. And we understand that. So we got to just come out with the right mindset and just um, match their intensity early and just try to close it out if we can. Anything else? Is there ever a point where JR, you thought was too sick to play? Well, he got in foul trouble early, so he didn't play a lot anyway, so I might have helped him out. <laughs>